Howdy everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Keith Warren and on this video, we're gonna help you become a better, more accurate marksman, I guarantee it. Over the years, I've made incredible shots on video on a variety of animals and in different hunting scenarios. I can tell you that making a good shot is not something that just happens. It takes knowing your firearm, knowing your firearm's limitations, and knowing your limitations as a shooter. This video is brought to you by Online Outfitters, and we'll tell you more about them at the end of the video. So if you watch videos on our channel, you know that my daughter Maddie is also an incredible shot, and she does an outstanding job of taking down animals ethically in a variety of hunting scenarios. The reason she does so well at shooting is because she has learned the seven steps of marksmanship. The goal of this video is to make sure that we help every shooter so when they look through their sights, they know without a shadow of a doubt, they'll be able to make that shot. Now, before we get started on the video, I wanna tell you, we get tens of millions of views on our YouTube channel every year, and only half of you are subscribers to the channel. So make sure to hit that subscribe button now. Now, this next clip is from a shooting course that I took years ago, and it's called The Seven Steps of Becoming a Better Shooter. One of the most valuable lessons in the SAM shooting courses is what they refer to as the seven fundamentals of marksmanship. The goal is for these steps to become second nature in every shooting scenario. Step one, body position or build your house. One, body position, we go through an explanation of the techniques that we like to employ as far as setup. That's gonna be things like trying to achieve muscle relaxation. Okay, if your muscles and everything is relaxed, you're gonna be less wiggly. Step two, acceptable reticle movement. With the acceptable reticle movement, you have to be the judge of that. You watch the wobble, and if in that wobble there's any spot that you don't want your bullet to hit, you don't take that shot. Use bags, use gloves, use slings, so we're minimizing reticle movement till we get it to a point where it's acceptable. Step three, breathing. Take three or four deep breaths, and then shoot on your natural respiratory pause. That means exhale, and now you got five to eight seconds you get your shot off. Step four, sight focus. Uh, it's kind of the old aim small, miss small mentality. We're aiming for a specific aim point on the animal. Look at your target first. Pick the target, the, which piece of paper, or which diamond that you're gonna shoot. Once, you've, once you're done focusing on that, then you transition your eye to 100% focus, center of that crosshair, and the target. Step five. Trigger control. And when we speak of trigger control, that's bringing the trigger to the rear without disturbing sight alignment or sight picture. In your mind, you're telling your finger it comes straight back to the rear. Once the gun goes off or uh, the hammer falls, the primer ignites, and the powder goes off, why does our finger release the trigger? Uh, and that act of releasing the trigger is the subconscious act, and we call that booger flicking. Maybe you just feel guilty about jerking the trigger. If you feel guilty about jerking the trigger, your tendency is to fly your finger off the trigger really fast. So don't be a booger flicker. And now, if we tell you that you're booger flicking, then you'll know what we're talking about. Step six, follow through. Maintain trigger contact through recoil, and then the signal to let go of the trigger is reaching for the bolt and running the bolt for follow-up shot. We have uh, some our own uh, timisms here. We call that ride the bull uh, down here in Texas. All right, then the, the, following, the follow through is very important for us as hunters. We teach here to stay on target, stay in the scope. Step seven, call your shot and re-engage. Uh, we don't want to come off the gun. Our absolute total goal and our seventh step is to stay on target and re-engage, prepare to follow up the shot. Now these seven basic fundamentals need to become second nature for every shooter. And if you work at it, I guarantee it, you'll become a better shot. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, go ahead and post a comment, and make sure and subscribe to our channel. We'd like to thank Online Outfitters for providing us with all of our awesome gear that we use in our shows. From thermal gear to ammunition, if we need it, they have it. For more information, check out Online Outfitters on our supporters page, linked in the description of this video. Shoot straight, everybody. I'll see you next time.